breakfast today basically my schedule is for my first last day last first day of school so to walk through my schedule for today and tomorrow since some of my classes are on tuesdays and some are on mondays today i have class pretty late and then i have prep for a meeting and then i have a pretty important meeting and then after that tomorrow i just have class and a meeting in the morning and then another meeting in the afternoon i'm pretty excited this quarter is gonna be interesting i only have one class today and it's just like random class i'm taking on impulse so we'll see how that goes and then tomorrow I have like my biggest like hardest class in the morning so we'll see if I like that one and then my last class I think is completely online it's also technically my last quarter of college it's absolutely crazy to me that's like a hard pill for me to swallow I was going through all the pictures for stuff I wanted to print out for my room and I found my first day of school ever picture I'll insert it right here I was a kid like literally I was three <laughs> For now, I'm just gonna like prep and clean before class. Nothing really exciting. So I'll see you right before my class. Time for my first class. I'm scared. That class was quite literally an emotional roller coaster to listen to. Yeah, I don't really know where to go from there. I'm just gonna go call Krupa now so we can prep for our meeting. I just got out of my last meeting for the day and I'm literally red and sweaty because that's how that made me, I just, it was so much. And now I'm just gonna do a little bit of miscellaneous work that I have to get done and see you guys tomorrow. By the end of um, week two, we have second meeting of the day they were back to back so i'm gonna have to prep for that i didn't really expect it today but once i got out of class i realized i had five minutes till my next meeting i will have to be ready for that next time because this time i was literally making breakfast and i felt terrible because i wanted to be interacting more yeah and then i have another meeting which is not gonna be a regular thing i just have a meeting book it's a one-on-one -on -one and i'm so scared because i don't know the girl that well okay. and then after that i'm literally done for the day one thing i'm loving about the schedule so far is like i have a lot of big gaps in time i just finished my last meeting for the day and it's literally 4 p.m which is amazing because normally my meetings go later plus on top of that because of daylight savings it's like fully sunny outside i love spring but i'm gonna do everything i missed this morning because i woke up late so i'm just gonna work out and shower because i definitely did wear this sweater yesterday this tv's been here the entire time but i've never thought to use it even though it's right in front of the treadmill I know this is my best choice, but it's a choice I chose to make today. Doing my makeup. This is my favorite time of the day in my room. I impulse decided that I was gonna get ready again today. You know, yesterday I had excuses my first day. Today my excuse is my hair's still relatively straight from when I straightened it on the weekend and I probably won't straighten it again for a while and I really want to try those bubble braid hairstyles that I've seen around. So I wanted to give that a go today, but I feel like it's gonna be easier to try it when my hair is relatively straighter and I can like brush through it and stuff. Things would be so different if I was in Santa Cruz and part of me hates that since this is technically like my last last couple months of college. I'll never really live in 
in Santa Cruz in that manner. I'll never have another like moving into college vlog, which is crazy because those are my favorite and I loved watching them. But at the same time, it's kind of just a part of the process. Like there's literally thousands, if not millions of people in the exact same situation who had plans for the past year or the past two years almost. Where did I get past two years almost from? Okay, rewind. People who had plans for the past year and you know, those plans didn't work out because of what's going on in the world. And there's nothing, there's only so long you can sit and mope for yourself. There's things I'm looking forward to after graduating. I don't know, there's a lot happening. Finish the makeup. I'm gonna start playing around with this hair. I'm the sauce, because I'm the sauce. Now I have to do the other one. Very wholesome day. I don't know if I did it right, but I'm giving up on it because if I tug up my hair two more times, a chunk will fall out and my head will hurt for the next three days, so. So I do have a little bit of planning left to do for the new school quarter. I have a video on my channel of how I kind of set up for every quarter, which is already up on my channel. So I don't want to be too redundant, but I do have a couple things left to set up for this quarter. Something I didn't do last quarter, which is evident on my channel, is I didn't really prioritize YouTube at all or kind of personal projects, which was mainly just because of my course load. But this quarter, my courses are easier, but I don't want to lose track of time. I just want to make sure that I have time for things I want to do. And something I've never tried is like blocking off time to edit or to film a video and things of that sort. Sounds kind of weird because it's not a job to me, YouTube's a hobby, but I do want to be consistent with it. So if that's what it takes to be consistent, we could try it out. So I guess we'll start off with my Google Calendar. Alrighty, so as you can see, this is my Google Calendar. I've already put in all of like the repeating stuff. So all my class times are the dark green color, everything the tealish colors like meetings that aren't for class but are meetings, and then everything in the lighter green color is sections. And I do have a calendar on the side for office hours, which I haven't updated yet because I don't have my office hours yet for my classes. And then I have time blocking. Today I finished early, let's say at around nine-ish, eight-ish, 8.30 to 10. I wanna block off some time and edit. And then tomorrow I have this huge chunk right here so I can block off this. And then over here, I wanna work on my portfolio. So I'm gonna block off some of Thursday time. Yeah, I think I'll leave it like that for now. And then based how it goes, I'll add more. Um, editing Simran, please let me know how did you feel about this and are you doing it still? Okay. That sounds good. Other thing I want to work on is my Notion. So if you've seen, I do have a video on my channel of my Notion tour and how I use my Notion dashboard. Besides Notion, I also do bullet journal, which is kind of crazy, probably a lot of planning. Some people might hate it, but as someone who loses train of thought, quite quickly. Having a lot of planning systems actually works for me because I always have at least somewhere I can write something and I always am able to find it. It's how I think. Surprisingly, I do not have any Virgo in my chart. I just want to go through and add some dates from my syllabus. Already what I've done to my college work page is I updated it a little bit. So I moved some things around and I have some pages here. So my archive pages is from previous classes that I'm no longer in. This one is a page to something I made with a friend. And then this is my class schedule page which has all the classes I need before graduation. So I made a linked list to that right here, which if I open fully, you can see I can like switch it over. So I all I did was filter it from winter. I filtered it to spring, but I made it really small and on the corner. So that way I can kind of keep my notes in these. So if I open this up, it'll have my notes, which I haven't started yet because I didn't take any notes from the first lecture. So I want to just go through and add everything for the next week, as well as download the syllabuses from my class and put them, probably put them right over here so that way I can quickly access them because a lot of my classes this quarter are really relevant with their syllabus if that makes sense like they put all of their due dates on a syllabus but it's not in canvas which is one of my pet peeves but it's my last quarter so i'll put through it